Now I expect many of you are here because of the state of the play video and you've probably not heard of the Gundam Evolution game. So don't worry, we'll go through a nice high level view of what the game is about and what you might expect. But before you get going, I highly recommend that you go check it out because it is going to be on a network test at the moment, meaning you've got to go over to the Steam page right now and click on Quest Access so you'll be able to play it when it goes for the network test. That being said, let's talk about Gundam Evolution. And if you haven't worked it out already, it does share a lot in common with Overwatch, especially when it comes to UI and the way that they use abilities and the way that they have ultimates. So in terms of consoles, it is coming out on Xbox, it's coming out on the PlayStation, and it's also coming to the PC. In terms of mobile suits, currently there are 14. These are Marasai, Gundam Exia, GM, Gun Tank, you've got GM Sniper 2, you've also got Ashimar, there's the Dom Trooper, there's the Turn A Gundam, there's also Methus, there's the Zabi, there's Barbatos, you've also got Zaku 2, and you've also got Gundam and also Pale Rider. All the mobile suits are evolved around three main stats. So you have their range, how far they can attack, because you have melee, you also have sniping mobile suits, you also have different varying levels of HP, and also the amount that you can dash. Now, the amount you can dash, or the thrust system as they're calling it, is basically the ability to dash in a certain direction and gain a certain amount of speed or distance away from your opponent. This differs from mobile suit to mobile suit. So you might have a long to range mobile suit such as Marasai, but then you have Exia who is more melee focused who has a dash limit of 3, but also health pool is a lot smaller. All the mobile suits come with a main weapon, some of them come with a sub weapon, and also they come with something called a G maneuver. Now the G maneuver is just a fancy term for an ultimate, you charge it up and then you get to do something really cool with it. And these include everything from like a giant sword slash to putting down a homing mine for example. You also have three active skills, these vary from mobile suit to mobile suit and they kind of revolve around what archetype that you have for your mobile suit. For example, some of them can heal. For example, GM is one of the ones who does the healing, so he throws down like a heal on the floor and then it kind of heals anyone who's in it. If you're wondering whether or not the mechs follow the Holy Trinity, I can't confirm this 100%, but from everything that I've gone through, and I've gone through this a fair bit, there isn't like a solid tank and a DPS class and a healer class. They just have like hints of it. Because there are mobile suits that do have shield health and they have limited range and they have a lot higher health pools. And I have no doubt in my mind that they are probably the ones that you want in the front of you while you're doing damage because there are highly mobile kind of Genji-esque mobile suits that have low HP pools that do redonkulous amounts of damage. Anyway, I will confirm that once I go onto the network test because there is a chance that I could just be completely off on this one. Now, in terms of gameplay modes, you have some pretty bog standard ones. So you've got point capture, which basically is you have two points. You've got A and B, you have to capture A and then you get access to B. Once you capture B, you know, you win and the person that does it in the fastest amount of time wins. You also have domination, which is your standard capture the zones, hold it for points. And the last one is destruction, which is similar to point capture except you have two points, you have to go out, you have to destroy A and B, and then you've got access to another zone and you'll have to destroy A and B once again and then you may win. And one of the team plays attacking and the other one is defending and then it rotates at the end of the match. So you can see why some of this may have been inspired by Overwatch, but at the end of the day, as long as the game modes give you plenty of opportunity to kind of blow each other up in your mobile suits, I'm not really all that bothered. They do put an emphasis on kill streaks as well because they flash them up in big kind of like highlighted messages of how many mech suits that you've killed, but I don't think you get anything at the moment aside pride points for just racking up massive kill streaks. You can make parties in this, by the way, if you are wondering. And yes, there is an inbuilt voice chat. That might just be a precursor for you to turn it off because it never seems to work out these days when you put voice chat into a game, especially on it's like a competitive team game. But yes, alas, that is Gundam Evolution. I will see you on the network test and be back with more videos to give you my thoughts on whether or not it'd be any good. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that this is actually free to play. So it actually stands a fairly good chance of getting off the ground and, uh, you know, actually having a player base. There's already confirmation of skins and weapon skins that you can buy and I have no doubt there's going to be some sort of currency that you use to buy other mechs as well. I don't think you'll probably get access to all of them. And there's millions of mobile suits that they can put into this so you know it's, it's got a lot of potential. It just depends on how fun the gameplay loop is at the end of the day. Anyway let's uh, talk about it when the network test is finally done. Um, yeah leave your comments below. We'll maybe do a video if we get enough of them. But until then have a great week and I'll be back with more gaming news and reviews soon.